here. Let me bring up the map. If I can remember. It was on the way. To help Warwick Homestead. Uh, I finally got around to talking to uh, the head guy there. And they're about to send me over to one of these places. And I came across the, uh, I came across the Quincy Ruins. And there's a Meyer Alert Queen, uh, Meyer Alert Queen here. And, uh, every time I'd get close to her and start firing on her, with uh, myself, McCready, and the uh, AI power armor, it would, it would freeze up. It would crash. I don't know why. Okay, so I've already started fixing this up a little bit. Initially, I had a really massive problem when I came across the uh, Warwick settlement because when I would get here it wouldn't let me access uh, the father guy here because he would be stuck in this this pond this uh, water container here But I picked up a mod that fixed that, and then once I was able to access him, uh, I took that mod off. But now, now I have access to uh, Warwick State, uh, Warwick. Uh, the Warwick Settlement. Okay, now I gotta figure out where he's at, cause I think I have to re-talk to him. But we're definitely going after that uh, Meyer Alert Queen. My power armor is damaged. Huh, I don't understand what happened. Oh no! I fought the Meyer Lurk Queen, but I ended up pulling out and coming back here because my ammo was down and I might I might as well uh, I might as well uh, fix up their armor now my armor was down and my ammunition was pretty much non-existent So I'm going to run through this inventory really quick. I just got to get my bearings back, that's all. Cause we're we're going to get that fucking uh, My Alert Queen. Hmm. Okay, so everybody should be in here.
Bill Sutton. I don't, no, that's not him. I hope you realize how much you did for us. I knew you Okay, Janie. June's a heck of a Roger. When I got here, Roger Warwick was stuck in this tank right here and I couldn't get him out. I can't I couldn't access his dialogue or nothing. I accidentally killed him, had to redo that save. Because he was stuck in he he was stuck in here and I couldn't talk to him or nothing. So I had to access a Warwick uh mod and then get him out of that. And then just took the Warwick uh mod off. So everything's back to normal. But we're going to need a power armor station. Inventory. I'm going to access the... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and access the hitchhiker mod. Which is really, really nice because, I mean, it, 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 as far as I can tell, it's fallout appropriate. I mean, I already have, I don't know how many settlements right now. I've got pff, at least 15. They've, they've got their own access to scavenging and what not so you just go to the hitchhiker magazine you can go to random places even if you don't have the DLCs like I do I don't have any of the DLCs yet but uh you can go anywhere Force the time, force the weather, uh, teleport options. You can go random places. You can pick them. Uh, can't do the DLC destinations because I don't have any of the DLCs. But uh, you can pick where you want to go, basically. Or you can just have it teleport your random places bus station uh, diner whatever uh, but if you go to advanced options you can go to uh, ship happens and it'll give you I think like 20 shipments of everything so it's kind of like congregating like all your all your materials from your sh your settlements to you and then once you get to a workshop you just dump all the junk in there. Adhesive, acid, all that up there in the corner and even when it ha when you have it in your inventory there's no carry weight. But since we're already here, just going to go ahead and dump it there. But I think what we're going to do right now is we're going to make a, uh, yep, go to transfer and then store all junk. So you get, uh, shipments of concrete, cloth, copper. Um, everything. So it's pretty much like your, uh, your workshops connected to your other workshops or whatever without having to use supply lines. And I'm level 50 one now, so it's not like you know I'm 
I, I started using this mod like fresh out the gate and you know cheated that way no I don't think I started using this mod until like level 40 so I did my fair share of looting and shit like that and scrapping way ahead of time So, for me, it's like, I kind of earned it, but, uh, anyhow, I don't think I have a power armor station here. I can't remember. I don't think I do, but, uh, we're going to go ahead and make one. That'll help. Um, I gotta figure out what fucking direction it is, though. Cause I can, I can make it an artillery piece. That I can just bushwhack that fucking, uh, that Meyer Alert Queen. I gotta figure out where I'm facing, though. Okay, so we're kind of facing in the right direction. So we're just going to go ahead and put it here. And I'll just quickly assign somebody. They got more than enough food right now, so I can just borrow this guy. Come here. So I haven't really done anything with this settlement yet. Cause I just discovered it. Like the last time I played. Okay, so we got him. We're gonna have to soup his stuff up a little bit. We're just gonna go ahead and put the power armor thing here for now. It can always be changed out or whatever. Uh, I believe it would be crafting. Yep. I don't know if I have a beat. Yeah, I don't even have a uh, settlement beacon. But we're going to get rid of a lot of this shit here. So that way not all our people uh, have to deal with uh, food production because mutt fruit produces one whole food item versus anything else is half so if we would do all these tato plants and shit like that then it'll cost twice as many people All right, we're going to have to set up a beacon. I don't know the best place to put that, though, for now. We're going to set up a beacon so we can get more people here. Our beds are very short.
We only got it. We only got enough beds for the six people that are here. And I do have the scrap everything mod. So we can just scrap the shit out of everything. But always be careful with that. Uh, always be careful of what you you have selected because you may accidentally uh, select something important like a foundation. I've done that a few times. I think I will scrap that catwalk though. It's broken and awkward. I want to see. Like, I, I just have like the whatever I've unlocked through the workshops I haven't really I haven't used a mod for like extra workshop items yet because I don't want to uh, really use stuff that's not really in the base game If it extended things a little bit, then I'm fine with that. But if it's like some stuff that's not in like the core game, like you would see on like other streamers or things like that, like I'd rather not have it. I'd, r I'd rather not have anything modded that's not like Fallout friendly. Like you got people that. It's got like Call of Duty weapons in here and I'm like no. I don't wanna take away from like the the core value of the game. I think this might work here. Okay. Still gonna have to go across to. Um, in order to actually get to that part of the building I actually I don't know how many times I had to try it I think it was like 20 different times where I had to get up here I had to jump on this ledge and like crawl all the way across to get to that side we're not doing that now Go ahead and see if I can extend this all the way over. I don't think I'll be able to, though. Oh, we will. Yeah. It'll be okay for now. I don't know if I can 
I want to see if I could actually put something small up on that. But, uh... Get rid of that. Always be careful what you select when you go to scrap. So that way you don't accidentally scrap something that you need. I'm gonna go ahead and create some bed space. Debris. save it here so that way that'll that'll be able to I don't know why it always says that I've got over a hundred gigabytes on my uh, Xbox but that's that's the thing too if you have way too many saves or if you quick save um Also make sure you accidentally load a save too. Just if that ever comes up, delete old saves. Because normally for like Fallout or Skyrim, like I only keep two saves at a time. But if I'm in a hurry, I'll quick save and that's where some of the problems start. <clears throat> There really is no room here for, like, well, in, in, inside the building for a lot of space. Can't get rid of that until I know what it's for. Probably should get rid of a lot of this trash on the floor but I'm just gonna add a couple beds for now
Because no matter what, I, I always add buildings and stuff on settlements, given the space. and There's going to be plenty of space. Um, here at Warwick, it's one of the bigger settlements. I'm just going to add a couple cheap uh, furniture beds. Just going to add a couple sleeping bags. Got a lot of, I got 350 pieces of cloth. So we're just going to go ahead and add four more here just sleeping bags it's not going to take up that much space and I can easily get rid of them I don't know if they have power hooked up or not No, they only got five for power, and I do believe I had that hooked up to the, uh, I've got that hooked up to the, uh, water purifier. I think it's resources. We need one of these. I don't think I've made one yet. We're not really going to do a lot of this here. Like right now. But, uh, we are going to improve their living conditions. Fence? No, it ain't. I think it's under power. Yeah, recruitment beacon.
Over here. If I, if I have a minute. Would not mind a strong drink. Hey. Yeah, what is it? Go check that out. No way. Oh shit. I need him to get out of the power armor. you to get out of your power That's armor up. there uh need you to get out of your power armor there dude so I can fix it back here Sometimes it is annoying trying to get people out of your power armor. Hey there. Last time we talked, I hope I didn't bore you to death by dumping my life story on you. I can't remember. I fell asleep. <laughs> Clever. I suppose I can be a bit, well, rambling. The fact of the matter is, the closest thing to family I have out here, as we've been traveling together, I'm finding it easier and easier to share my feelings with you. Anyway, I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. Yeah, we're not bromancing. We'll always be best friends. I don't think I'll ever get tired of hearing you say that. Remember, if you need anything, you be sure and let me know. We'll do, McCready. Look at that, I think we got a new person already. I just wanted to introduce myself. I wanted to personally thank you for giving us this opportunity. Any place you want me to pitch in? Did you need anything? Well, we could probably use some more defenses. I don't know what we'd do if Raiders attacked. Mm -hmm. Yay, we got a new settler, guys, already. We've had the beacon up for four minutes and we already have a new settler. 